Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and let's check out this new listing. But again, before we do, right here is the link for my resale app. Up above is the link for my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links, or you could scan those codes with your phone, and they will take you straight to my free mobile apps. Let's check out this one. Oh, this one is pretty neat. Again, don't forget, I am doing those giveaways once a week. I am going to do a giveaway video. The following week, I am going to pick a winner. In order to win, you have to comment on that video, you have to like it, and you have to be subscribed. But this is pretty neat. So this is a resale. If you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you are considering buying a new construction home. Call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, or go see the homes in person, because otherwise you're gonna be working directly with the sales associate and they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. So if you want representation and fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission. The builder does, so give me a call. So I'm gonna spin around. Today we are in Henderson, more specifically, Green Valley. So pretty neat area, pretty nice area. This is a gated community. The HOA here is 78 a month. That is not bad to have a gate. Now this property even has strip views, it has a pool, but let's talk a little bit about this property. So this one is 3,656 square feet. It's five bed, three bath, three car garage, and it is currently on the market for $799,900. I love this courtyard. Again, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to subscribe because when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do an iPad giveaway. I haven't decided yet if we're gonna do one iPad Air or two regular iPads coming on in. I love this courtyard. Really neat, it's huge and it's gated. There's even a gate back here to gate the backyard off. If you have pets or anything like that, you can keep that closed, but this uh, paved courtyard is pretty neat. Let's go ahead, head on inside this home I always tell people, don't just throw out resale, don't cons not, not consider them, because this home has some really neat, unique features that I think everyone's gonna like. Make sure to watch until you see the pantry and the laundry room. <laughs> the laundry room is bigger than most master bedrooms, it's crazy. So right off the bat, I love this chandelier, big atrium area. We'll go into the living room, we'll go into the kitchen, we do have our stairs right here. We have our formal dining area right here. And again, it's massive. And we'll get to all of this really quickly. We're gonna see our downstairs bedroom first and then head on upstairs. So right here we have our downstairs bedroom. It's gonna feel even bigger than what it looks like. Now this is a big room, but it also has nine foot ceilings. All of the windows have the shutters on them. This is a very large room. You could get a full size bed, you could get a desk, you could get a dresser, you could get the nightstand, everything in here, really easy. I'm really impressed with how big this first room is. It's large and it feels even larger with those higher ceilings. We have our two door closet slider, nice. It even has some extra shelving. If you need more room, you could always move this bar up, add a second one. There's even some extra little drawers and whatnot. But coming on out, the only thing I would change with this room is I would wanna change out the light bulbs because it is a little dim in there but once you add lamps and whatnot it should be fine we have our downstairs bath it is a three-quarter these look like the standard bumper cabinets they are we have looks like a quartz countertop over mounted sink and i love the fact that there's even a second light above the shower because otherwise it would be kind of dim over there we have our toilet fiberglass composite tub or excuse me shower only there's two benches two little shelves there's your shower head, but awesome start to this tour. The rooms are massive, but <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you have to wait and see this pantry. You could survive World War III, and the laundry room is even crazier. Right here we have our coat closet, and we have additional storage. So it doesn't go all the way under, but it is a lot of storage. It's nice with the amount of light in there. And then coming on up, Again, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding anything I'm saying about this property, any other resale property, or any new construction property, give me a call. So coming on up, it would be neat 
if instead of this was pony wall, if it was railing too, if this just continued, because it would make it feel so much bigger up here, but the loft is massive. Let's go this way first. We'll come back, we'll check out the loft, the main bedroom, and then we'll head downstairs for that insane, <laughs> insane laundry room. So right here, we have a bunch of built-ins. You could do linens. Do you like the display glass for linens? I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty, but I know my linen closet and my linen closet is, well, it's a linen closet. So do with that as you will. Next bedroom, really good sized bedroom. It's not a little 10 by 10 like some of these builders are doing. And I'm sorry about the echo. Once you put the furniture, once you put the art, it will soak up all the noise, but very, very big bedroom again. We have again, the shutters looking out over the street. And then right here we have a really, really nice size walk-in closet. They did a really good job, whoever the builder was, building these rooms big, building the closets big, and making sure you can actually put all your furniture in the bedrooms. I know a lot of these builders are building these little 10 by 10 rooms, not the case here. You might, maybe, since these rooms are large, you're definitely gonna wanna change out the light bulbs, but adding can lighting to these rooms might be something you'd want to look into. It is a little pricey, but it would totally be worth it in these. We have, again, a nice big walk-in closet. There's even all of these cubbies, so you almost don't even need a dresser in this room. You could put a king-size bed in this room and it would fit and still have room. It's that big. Coming on down and around, right here, we have our upstairs bath. So same cabinets, same countertops, same over-mounted sinks. We even have two medicine cabinets and then coming in, we even have a closed off water closet. So we have our toilet, we have our tub shower combo and it's fiberglass composite all the way around. So it's basically the same thing, just a tub version as downstairs. There's even some little soap shelves, but coming on out right here, we have, again, these are huge. There's even shelving over here for your linens. There's so much storage in this house. It's Kind of incredible. Next bedroom. I'm glad that there is some kind of uh, shelving and desk and everything so you can get an idea. These desks, that's probably six feet to like right there, not all the way in the corner. And that one, it's gotta be at least seven, maybe even bigger, maybe eight. It's a very, very big desk. See, this is what I was talking about. This room actually has can lighting and it makes such a difference when these rooms are this big because just one little lamp light, mm, it'll do it. You're definitely gonna need other lamps, but it is nice to have. They did this one up, so all the shelving. They even put <laughs> like a desk in here. Pretty neat. So this room, they've done up the closet. You could add a bar if you wanted to hang clothes in there, but this, as they have it, they have used it as an office. You could turn the uh, laundry room into an office. You could turn it into another bedroom, you have to see. So right here we get to our loft. Huge, huge loft. You could put the pool table up here. You could have it as a family room. You could have it more informal. There is so much room up here. It's probably, whew, but at least 18 feet across, maybe even bigger. It's, I'm gonna go with maybe 20. It's a very, very big loft. And then coming down into our master bedroom, our primary room, you'll have to see the views from the actual bedroom from the balcony. It's funny, this room for every other room is, it's not small, but it's almost the same size as some of those bedrooms, which is pretty interesting. We have all of our shutters. We have some built-ins. It's, it's funny how big the other bedrooms are when you compare it to this, because this almost feels small. Now it's not small in any means. You can get the king size bed. You can get some chairs in here. You don't almost need a dresser because you have all of these built-ins, but then before we check out the bathroom, let's go ahead and go on outside. So we have a massive uh, balcony. We even have the pool right here. And I'll have to turn and show you the views. So we even have a little water feature, little waterfall, little waterfall. The only thing I would probably do to the backyard is maybe add some synthetic grass and I would put a spiral staircase right here. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. And then check this out. You basically have a full strip view. So we have Mandalay, where's my finger? Mandalay all the way to the stratosphere. And I promise you it's even better in real life because you have to zoom in so far. The eye is so much better than the cameras, but 
Look at this. Now, while we're out here, one thing to talk about with backyards, if you're buying new, you have to finish the backyard however you so choose. Backyards with no pool, just landscaping this size, it's gonna be at least 20 grand, at least, probably even more. A, sp a pool spa heater is gonna set you back at least 50 to 60 grand for like a very basic one. That one with all the water features is probably closer to 80. So a backyard with the pool spa heater with all the landscaping is gonna set you back probably 100 grand. So just keep those things in mind when purchasing into our master or primary bath. Huge tub, I love how they tiled everything. Nice size shower. We have a bench kind of, more of a shelf. We have a little soap shelf. We have our toilet right here. And then if we spin around, we have our vanity and it is big. They do have a different stone on top. They look like the same uh, cabinetry below. Nice big piece of glass. And then we have our walk-in closet. So this is pretty neat. They did a really nice job. All of these are shelves. So you have all of the shelving from floor to ceiling, eight feet. And then you have double bar all right here. You have single bar with even extra storage up top. And then you have the whole shoe area. Pretty neat. They do not build homes like this anymore. It's so interesting to see that I don't know why. I really, really like this house when I came and turned on all the lights. Now again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please, please, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you and help you out in any way possible. Whether it's this home, a new home, a different resale, if you have questions about the market, please give me a call. So coming on in to our living room. We do have a fireplace. Again, the only thing I wish in here, the bulb is burnt out in that. I just wish there was can lighting in this room because it is a really nice sized room. You have some storage, you have more storage. You even have some shelving. They did a nice job in here. And then you can see out into the backyard. And if we turn, look at this. <laughs> um, I guess you could do like a breakfast nook area right here because you could even do this as the dining table. Honestly, a lot of builders, when they build like this, this is your dining room. You don't get a formal dining room, but you have all of this storage area, pretty neat. I like the two-tone. You have the glass uppers, you even have light underneath, you have the countertops, you have a huge island, but we'll get to the kitchen just in one second. And this is the pantry. It's all the way behind the cooktop. I promise you we'll get to the kitchen here in just a second and see the whole entire thing. We come on out, we, either we even have a little butler's pantry too. There's so much storage downstairs. Right here, most people would probably use it as their formal dining. Ooh, lights didn't turn on. Oops, hmm. I don't know, maybe they're burnt out, but huge dining area. I feel like you could even use this as a sitting area because you could do formal living, just family room over front, and then put the dining table right there because again, there's so much space in here. Look at this. This is insane. This is bigger than some master, some primary bedrooms I've been in. It's absolutely massive. You have a sink with the lowers, you have all of these uppers, you have all of these uppers. This is cool too, I love this touch. This is a rod to hang clothes. If you wanna hang jeans, if you wanna hang nicer shirts that you don't want to have put in the dryer. I feel like I need more washers and dryer in here. You have all these lowers, you have a folding area, you have this huge thing. And if you've never seen what this is, this is so old school, I love it though. You even have an ironing board. I'm gonna turn around just so you can see how massive this room is. You could even put another hanging rod right up here. And then coming on out, we have our three car garage. And it's nice on resales, we can actually see our three car garages because in new construction, they keep them locked. So I'm gonna be honest, this would be a full size two car garage but it's gonna be very, very tight parking a third car in here because it's literally up against the wall. So, mm. is it a three car garage? Yes. Is it a very usable three car garage? Mm. Maybe not. You even have the water softener. If you don't know out here, our water is very hard. You have more storage, tons of more storage. And you even have this whole workstation out here. Pretty neat, man, there's so much storage in this home, it's pretty incredible. So coming back on in, there's even an outlet in the floor in here. So checking out the kitchen, we see that we have all of the uppers over there. You have the area for some stools. <sighs> I'm so torn. Would you put the dining table right here or would you use that other area behind us that we just saw for the dining area? 
I feel like I'd do dining here, and that other area is a sitting room, just because you can have two dining rooms. You could literally have ran a buffet out here when the world shut down and had everyone here, just because there's so much space, there's so much storage, it's pretty neat. We have, it looks to be 40 inch uppers. We have our stainless steel undermounted sink. This is really nice though. You're right in front of the pool. So if you have kids out there or anyone out there, you can keep an eye on them really easily. We have more storage. We even have lighting underneath the cabinets. We have our stainless steel dishwasher. And then coming on over, we have our oven. We have our five burner cooktop. We have a really nice vent hood. We even have a double oven over there. We have more storage underneath. We do have a very interesting looking microwave. <laughs> and we have our stainless steel refrigerator. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You have to see this. This is incredible how large this pantry is. You could even move the shelves coming along the side. There's even our, um, what are they called? I'm drawing a complete big, our shutters in the pantry. It's gotta be at least 15 to 18 feet long. <laughs> you could survive World War III and four down here. Really, really neat property. So coming back out, now we're on this side and let's go ahead and take a look out back really quickly. So we do have a slider. We have our covered patio. And there's even speakers. I don't know if it's coming up. I can't really see the screen because there is quite a glare on it. There's speakers outside. You have this whole area that leads down to that gate back there. Again, I think a spiral staircase right there and maybe some synthetic grass. And this backyard would be perfect. It's nice size, it's not too big. It's easy desert landscaping. We do have a pool right here. We do have a little tanning shelf right here. If you want to throw a chair in there, you definitely could. We even have a little seat right here. You have the jacuzzi. A little waterfall, little waterfall, and even another water feature right there. Put back on up so you can see the house from this side. Just so you can see how big that balcony is. I don't know, this is pretty nice. I love the fact that it's so different compared to what builders are doing nowadays. It's very, very unique. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this home or any other home out here, doesn't matter, new, resale, anything in between, please give me a call. I'd love to hear from you and love to help you out. Again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, also make sure to subscribe. Again, we are doing those $25 Amazon gift card giveaways. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone. 